I got a text this morning from Andrew, our grader, the guy you saw yesterday, we ran into yesterday. <laughs> what? I don't know if these are the best choice. They're the most comfortable, but it's raining. You want to go putz around on the farm a little bit? Where's the side by side? Dad joke. Where'd it go? Uh, anyway, he texted me this morning and said, hey, would your boys happen to be for hire for a couple hours today? I don't know how Jonah is so difficult to get up when I asked him that. He leapt up. Are we just gonna do it like this? Yeah, could you see me coming? I saw a bush coming. <laughs> Those dorks did this. I want you guys to see this hay bomb. We've been feeding hay to the steers. Do you say we have some fair amount of steers? That is a lot of beef coming our way. Our favorite. Beef is for elephant pig. I'm generally in some mood in the morning, but acting a fool usually helps lift my spirit. So if we feed hay here in an area of pasture that struggles, they waste hay and that becomes organic matter and that feeds the soil, but they also manure and that fertilizes the soil. Way up there, we hay by them. The, the hay has already been absorbed. It's growing back greener than it certainly would have. That was a really poor area. Jonah's initiating to pick up sticks. Curious to see how our Agrabon is doing. Ah, look at that. They're intact. Heck, yes. One, two, three, four, five, maybe six. Six of our peach trees are blooming, which means fruit, y'all. We're gonna have fruit this fall from the farm. Thank you for coming with me. This is the smiling one. Trial and error, trying to figure it okay, out. Okay, good. Yep. I got a guy come rent this today. Okay. I don't know what you need. Jonah, Jonah, what's wrong? She went in there with a bucket of alfalfa like an idiot. Here, here, honey, honey. Let me get my cow Here, honey, honey. She's crazed. Wow. What you doing? I have to tie her calf up. Upside vinegar, RC gome. Oh, that's the golden stuff, literally. Woo! Glad you don't have uh, smell vision right now. Colostrum poop. See how yellow that is? That's what I hope to do today. Fruit. Part of my health journey and healing my gut, gonna make some colostrum custard. It's what it's for. It's for sealing the gut. If you didn't get that in the first hour or two, you'd be in trouble. It's a rare event to get colostrum milk. We're gonna value it. You've been keeping my colostrum separate? Harriet, you look huge compared to that little cat. Gather, hold on, hold on. Let's use this for bedding. Hold on. Raise it up. The next time it will be better. Trough is raisable. As the deep bedding raises, as we cover up manure, and the bedding gets deeper and deeper, we have to raise the trough. That's so much better. That trough system we use for our sheep and our cows, and that's in Joel's book, Polyface Design. I'll leave the link for that down in the description in case you want to build that yourself. How'd she do? Yes. What? Is she come in milk yet? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Something real nice about a freshly planted garden. We need to open this up to whatever light there is today. It's not freezing and rain will better penetrate this agravon without this agravon on top. Randolph! Hey. Our hero! I'm tempted to throw them out. I told them if they didn't put their boots up, I'd throw them in the outside. But Mom told me no. I should throw all y'all's boots out in the rain. Shut up. Look, Mom says, Justin, come out here, boys. We gotta change our habits. Just start throwing your boots out, okay? In the well, house. Fine. If I put my boots in the house, you can throw them in the yard. Not if I take if, them out. If outside. I leave my boots out in the way. Just so they're in the way, I'm sure right now, throw them out. I'm sure you can put them away. I put them up. I put them right up. Get in the habit. You want me to get you a bench out here to sit down, Mr. Rogers style? Wake up, ready to say. Have y'all seen how organized Mr. Rogers is? We're not Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Mission today, we gotta get this house in order. Randolph's putting our tub up. Rebecca's shopping for us. Woo! And guess what? I'm getting blankets from Grandma. Uh, yeah. This came in clutch. This extra blanket. We were kind of cold just under this one. Randolph's putting in the tub today. It is a mess in this kitchen. We're all too tired yesterday to pick this up. Big day in town today. It's been a big week and a half. We suddenly been displaced and moved into this small, what it would be, 700? How many square feet is this farmhouse? I thought it was like 900. 
I would think 700, but I'm actually liking it better than the cabin. It has a better spirit about it. On today's episode of Burn It Up Cooking Show, dud muffin ribs. We need to get on them because they are gonna be, He's a, he was a eight year old bull. He's gonna be tough. Set all the milks that are in there, save one out on the counter to come to room temp. We have to stay on top of our milk uh, spot because, well, we ain't gonna have room for it. Full size fridge over in the cabin plus a fridge like that so we had we've really downgraded things randolph did yesterday he the fridge so it now opens that way instead of into the kitchen just those little kind of things like that make a big difference there's always enough time to make broth that's nacho's leg from yesterday i think everybody needs to have broth at dinner it's a food we have an abundance hey thank you for putting those away Gideon, Joe, whoever you are you have to get organized because this is our life looking for stuff. Welcome to the Burn It Up cooking show, where we cook like all the rest of you. Interrupting with their antics. Kitchen's not perfect. The cooking show for the rest of us. I won. Oh! 10 second rule. I won there. Short ribs are my favorite. Hopefully we can get stud muffins tenderized enough. This is really gonna be the Burn It Up cooking show because we got, we got smoke and there's no hood in here. Got the short ribs out of the way. Pan's cooling off outside. That was a burning cooking show session for sure. Stop bombing the video. It's okay, use lamb broth and the short ribs, right? Okay. Put it in the Dutch oven. That's it. It's kind of cool, because you get that work done with in the morning when I have energy. You gonna stay over here or come help sling clothes? I'll stay over here. All right, get these clothes ready for textile for people to take it away. Clean the house, make a quiche, make colostrum custard, a nice short rib dinner. That may very well be impossible, but extraordinary things happen when you aim for the impossible. Maybe they bagged them up for us. Yeah, they bagged them up. All right, All right we got some bags. I'm really get in We're getting some screens for natural. Ventilation. Size working hard. Bacon coming on for our quiche. Eating what we grow. We're growing plenty of eggs right now. Cause we don't have any vent. We're gonna, this is gonna splatter everywhere. I did manage to pull this from the cabin. In my bacon, I put some water. Yeah? To kind of cook, I need it. I've never heard of this. And it cooks it. And then all the water evaporates and it crisps up real nice. Where'd you learn this? I saw it on Instagram. All right, we gotta tackle this. We need, we want some cream. Cause you need some ice cream. Is I that for tonight? I, we can have it tonight. Well, it's also Friday. Thing. You bought some cream, so what should we do with this? Should we make butter or cream? Homegrown ice cream? Um, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> so good when you cook. Evaporating nicely. I'm a little skeptical. Maybe we do a little bit of both. We keep a gallon for butter. It's right back there. The rest we skim. I've got this little ladle. Comes in very handy for getting inside of these pork jars. I'm just skimming off the milk, the, the, the cream. The cream naturally rises to the top. Coming along now. We got a bunch of skim milk. Pigs and chickens will be happy. Maybe a quart and a half of cream. Look how that bacon turned out. It's basically a bacon. You got any room for the eggs? <laughs> We're gonna see. Hey, fit all in there. You could have done even more. I know. A few moments later. Well, she knows how to do it. Let me see how thick this quiche is. It's so good looking. That is a hearty quiche. Scrambling to eat these eggs. No bad ingredients, only bad recipes, as Zane would say. Lily, after lunch, I want you to make us ice cream, okay? How is it? It's very good. Where's your spot? I don't have any. Finished lunch. Now we have a meeting with the People at the cabin for our textiles. I guess we're going in the Suburban. Taking the Suburban, huh? Yeah. Where are we gonna put this? I don't know, in the closet. Rainy day movie, colostrum. Definitely this one. What do you think about this one? She doesn't have as much colostrum. I can't sit on that. Not if I'm gonna wear these pants tomorrow for the eighth time in a row. <laughs> Taking the Suburban. I wonder if the insurance company pays for time loss away from work. I haven't been able to work in a week and a half. We got these clothes back. It's nice and all. Oh, where are they gonna go? Well, they have so much storage in that little tiny house. One cool thing about this 
is now I have lived, I can say I've lived in all three houses on the farm. I definitely want you to teach me how to do this. So you just did a quart of colostrum milk. In here is three eggs. Three eggs. Plus I put the colostrum custard in for 325, 30 minutes. How's stud muffin in the form of short ribs, everybody? Good. It's tender, yeah. mm -hmm. fatty, really prepping for ice cream. Ice cream from our cream today. I'm in the midst of making butter. My wand got bent or something and it vibrates now. This is a unique dessert. You cannot buy this. Okay, this was taking forever. I am rusty. I'm like trying to make butter from milk. I have to separate the cream out first. It's frothy. I'm gonna have to let that sit. Then we'll skim the milk. Back, I, I, I skipped the step. I was supposed to harvest the cream. Okay, that's just us losing our mind during this. We're, we moved during a remodel. La la let, la la let me be free.